Welcome to Top Solid 7. In this video, we are going to show you how to import data into Top Solid 7. From there, we'll show you how to capture the mechanical constraints of the imported subassemblies so that they can be applied to your design. The first thing that we're going to do is import a pure solid file into our PDM project. Here we'll select the file and say OK. Choose our import settings, confirm that, and like that, the Parasolid file will be imported. From here, the next step will be to define rigid groups. Rigid groups are groups of elements that will need to move together. So for example, here we'll go to Mechanism, Rigid Group, and we're going to name this rigid group Rod. And from here, we'll select the entities that we want to be part of this group. So here we'll select that, and all the rest of the parts that are attached to the rod. Next, we're going to go into our Entities Manager and show you the two different groups that exist now in this design. So here we have our Ground Group and our Rod Group. Finally, we're going to create a constraint. This will be a prismatic constraint between that rigid group and that rigid group. The direction will be that. And here we're also going to assign stroke limits to this hydraulic cylinder from 0 to 50 millimeters. And finally, we'll go test that constraint. And here you can see even on the imported subassembly, you can drag that through its stroke range. And like that, Top Solid 7 has captured the mechanical constraints of the imported subassembly. 